What's up guys, so today we are here with another tutorial and today I am going to show you how to quickly resize all your favorite pictures to for example upload on the web since they are uh, too much of a file size and you want to get them smaller. So first thing you do is go to our website and click to the download link, then click download. You will see this page and then click just download then install the program and after a while you will have the image resize it then go to the folder you want pictures to resize then select them all then right click and in here you will see light image resizer this is the program we will use to resize all of our pictures. Then click that and the program will launch to actually resize those pictures for you. Then click continue. You don't have to buy it, just click continue. Then you can choose either to resize in percentage in pixels, in inches or centimeters. Personally, I prefer in percents because of the fact that the image won't get stretched by one side, so it's it really stays the aspect ratio that uh, you previously had. So for my example, it says to 20% since my pictures are relatively big then you can have uh, some more as I said or either to fit it to stretch it to center crop and so on but if you keep it both at the percentage you want like for me 2020 it won't need to actually resize the image then keep aspect ratio as I mentioned is very important otherwise your picture will get stretched and that's nothing you want. Then if we see the image you see I have 18 images that I wanted to resize and in here you have a little tab if you click that you will get less options if you click again you will get more options. The more options contain general effects, misc and publish. Publish is to send an email with all the files in it. Then general you can filter um, to have a good quality, uh, better colors, a more vibrant image and so on. Then policy always resize and so on. For example if you have a picture that is smaller than the the ratio you've got entered into program that it will keep resizing then the quality for me I set it to 90% because I want to upload this on a web server and I don't want a lot of um, data space just for my pictures then the format you can choose either GPG, GIF, PNG, TIFF and so on so for my example I will choose as original since these are PNG files and that is optimal to upload on the web then the res resolution you can change that and then the masking then the effects you can create a watermark this is very useful if you have a website and you don't want people to copy all of your pictures you can put a watermark over it then the inversion of colors uh, grayscale sepia and a border a border is quite nice actually if you want to have a, a good design then misc you can have some other data in your file and then publish as i mentioned then the action, you can either resize original, move it, compress it into a zip file and then send it. You can create a PDF document with all these pictures or you can share it on Facebook. For me I have set it to create copies and then the destination folder you can specify either desktop, same folder or you can browse your computer. 
so that's done and the only thing you have to do is click process and click save and it will take a while dependent on how fast your computer is and it will create copies that are quite smaller than your previous image so as you can see you have a progress bar in here that indicates your status of those pictures and you see I have um, 98 percentage less data space that my pictures take instead of my old pictures so if we take a look at the resolution we have 730 by 547 and as you can see in here this is quite a big resize but it still is the same aspect ratio and if you would compare the details on those pictures they would stay the same the only difference it makes is that they are a bit smaller and more optimal to upload because this is only 55 kbs and this is 2 or 3 megabytes so that was that for today so i hope you guys liked it and for more information go to our website www.deckenbits.com